Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here and we're going to do a beer review today. And today we have from Elysian Brewery. It's called Super Fuzz Blood Orange Pale. That's what it looks like. I've never seen this beer before. I've never heard of this beer before. But it looks pretty groovy, man. So I grabbed it. I got this at um, Bevmo for just under three bucks. And it's a pint can. And it comes in at 6.4% ABV. And uh, I can't read the rest because the font is just a little too small for my... Uh, my vision to pick up but that's okay we can read the groovy looking font on the side man grunk this what if the world were an orange a blood orange with hop cones orbiting around it and it's all like an atom ale brewed with blood orange and I want some of what they're smoking because that that was pretty trippy man <laughs> anyways uh, almost looks like um, Lenny Kravitz or something <laughs> on the can there um, I've had Elijah beer before they're, they're, they're all right pretty decent um, you know I think they're pretty good uh, says experience by 62819 and today is 52319 or yeah so yeah it has a um, couple months left if they're giving it a four month shelf life then it's probably two months old which is a little over my month and a half uh, deadline but you know what it's in a can uh, I think it'll be okay so let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. Alright. Into the glass it goes. Oh boy. Okay. We got some serious carbonation going here. Alright. Well. Let's just kind of let that chill out for a second. Well, I think the... The mockingbird that's been terrorizing the neighborhood around here lately I think he finally found a mate because um, I don't hear him anymore see listen quiet love it all right let's get the rest in here if we can well good for him if that's what happened at least somebody's hooking up these days Either that or someone finally took him out. Who knows? Maybe a cat got tired of him and went after him. Who knows? All right. Um, well, we have a monster head there. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. Had to get my light. Forgot my light. All right. So we have a monster head there. And it's real frothy and creamy. It actually looks good. And let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, we have a fairly hazy kind of uh, copper looking color here. The, the head's just hanging around starting to turn rocky. But it's definitely a, like a orangey kind of... It's not blood orange. It's like... Um, copper orange and it's fairly hazy not totally hazy because you can see the sharpness of the light through the beer see looks like a little firefly in there partying woohoo all right looks pretty decent you can see it is pretty darn hazy there you can barely see anything through it you know so um see if we can get the rest in here all right 
no goodies. It's got a donut on the top. Or you can call it a beer hole. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this is you crazy. Oh, streaming up. Actually, I see a very slight particulates in there. Um, looks um fairly orangey there, I suppose. Yep. Actually, a beautiful looking sunburst type color. Yeah, that's more like a sunburst looking there. Looks cool. Looks delicious. Alright, as you can see the haze in there, it is slightly hazy. Alright, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Well, the aroma is a little uh, better from the glass here. Right up front, um, sorry, um, getting like uh, some citrusiness, uh, for the most part orange. Getting some tangerine. Pineapple, mango, very slight guava, very slight grapefruit. All right, let's get a hit. Cheers. Very slight guava. Not sure if I said that or not, but cheers. Okay, yeah, um, that's about what I get. Uh, it's pretty much citrusy. It's not really like piney or nothing like that. It's more like a, like kind of tropical fruity, mainly orange, tangerine, pineapple. It's like guava, um, very slight um, grapefruit. Let me take another hit, see if I can pick up something else here. It's leaving a nice head, nice head retention, some good lacing on the glass there. Cheers. Yeah, that's about what I got. Um, so, that's about it. Um, let me see if I can agitate and maybe I pick up on some of the malt notes here. Okay, there's a bready malt coming through. Cheers. Yeah, not too shabby. Um, yeah, that's decent. Super fuzz. Blood orange pale. It's not an IPA, it's just a pale. Ruby. It's far out, man. It's groovy. All right, well, one more shot, and we'll wrap it up here. It's got a medium mouthfeel. It's pretty silky. It's decent. Cheers. Yeah, like an orange tangerine, and there's some brady malts coming through for the most part. I do uh, pick up some guava in there. And a very, very slight, um, kind of um, very slight, like, overripe, type fruit note almost almost like spoiling like kind of tangy just a very slight tanginess like a almost spoiled type of fruit maybe a little little <gasps> like funkiness kind of barnyard funkiness just very slight touch of that it's more like a tangy funky but it's very slight you know like a almost spoiled type fruit not in a bad way though let's do this one more time maybe we can pick up one more note cheers 
yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what these are going for in uh, six pack or four packs. But uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll give this a 4.0 out of 5. I probably would pick this up again uh, someday if if um, if the price is, you know, fair. Um, it's pretty hoppy. It's a little more probably uh, on the more fruity and kind of hoppy side than a uh, real balanced beer. But it's pretty darn good. I think if you're into like tropical kind of hazy type beers that are a little hoppy, you'd probably like this one. Um, doesn't leave no bitterness on the tongue or nothing. Uh, there's enough malt there to, to chill the hops out after the sip is uh, over. All right. Cheers. Yeah, that's freaking good. Good job, Elijah Brewery. That's tasty. All right, everybody. Have an awesome day. Catch you later.